Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palinska International, Neil Artist and Educator. And today we are going to do a quick and easy Christmas design, which you can have a wee preview in here. Yeah, this is exactly what we are going to create and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments below and also if you really like this video, share so the others can see it as well. Let's start! So I've got some tips in here which I'm just going to give them a quick bath just so the gel is going to stick to them and then remove the dust and we are going to paint some nice maybe for a change pink background uh, I've got really beautiful pink and that's 158 and I really love this color like so much I'm going to show you this wintery design so I'm just covering the entire tip give it a cure and we are going to do exactly the same on this one as well I actually love doing all those Christmassy designs like so many like different ideas in my head like obviously exploding I could sit all day long and just play with those designs and then put it inside Let's apply the second coat and it's those kind of cozy pink like you know like the hats and the colors and the coats I think it looks absolutely beautiful on the nails and then paint the second one give it a cure and now we are going to use the D-liner brush and paint on French gel to create like a really nice and beautiful design I'm just waiting a couple seconds longer for it to cure there we are You can paint a dot so you know where your design is starting. So my design is going to be starting in there. And then I'm just going to paint like a Christmas tree leaf. So a wee line and lots of lots of small lines. Another one going down the way and just drag like lots of those lines and the last one this one make it slightly smaller Okay, so we have created those kind of Christmassy tree leaves and then cook it inside the lamp. On this one, we are going to place the design in slightly different place. So one, two, three. It is very quick and easy designs and I'm, I'm sure your clients will love it as well. And as you can see, I've got some leaves uh, which are like kind of stronger white, some ones less pigmented and this is totally fine. 
So all you really do is kind of creating like a messy lines. Okay, so some of them a bit longer and then give it a cure. Once we have completed this part, it's a time for bling. And we are going to use some caviar beads and also some Swarovski crystals as well. So I want some small ones and I want some large ones, like a mixture of a different ones. I'm going to pick up my first design and then on my mixing palette I'm going to put a base gel. And with some old brush we are going to apply those uh, crystals in. Okay, so I want the crystals. Sorry, just clean my brush. Got a big fluff in there. And apply lots of crystals. So in each place where the um, leaf is, I'm going to place a couple crystals. And then pick up the caviar beads and add a couple caviar beads. So we're going to use the pretty large ones. In a silver color. So basically what you do is you dip in your brush in a base gel. And, this, and then whatever you pick up, you just apply it on the design. It looks almost like a different type of Christmas bubbles. Okay, and then give it a cure. Do exactly the same on our second design. So very quick and easy one. And then couple caviar beads. I love caviar beads because they are so just fantastic like on space filler. They just finishing off any kind of design. And then give it a cure. Now we have to apply the top coat so we can move on into our next part of the design. I'm just applying a high shine no wipe top gel. The place where you've got the crystals you really want to apply this top coat but don't apply it on top of the crystals. If you struggle, you can put a tiny bit of the top coat on the mixing palette and then pick up your small brush and apply it with the small brush. And then give it a cure. Okay, and do exactly the same on this one. It 
has to be the no wipe top gel and uh, if you don't have a no wipe top gel you will need to use the remove the inhibition layer from the tip because otherwise the next part of your design is going to stick to the entire tip and we don't want that okay and then give it a cure now we are going to take some acrylic you could also use it like on rounded shaped gems i thought i could just maybe like i've got some pearls and uh, that's what actually I might do it on the one okay i'm going to do it on one maybe with the pearls just to show you a different option in case if you don't have acrylic So I'm going to pick up the scoop of the base gel, like a really decent amount of the base gel. And then place my beautiful pearl on top of it. And then give it a cure and on the other one we will do it with the acrylic for those of you who use the acrylics as well so it is going to be like a 3d ball and i've got some acrylics and my brush And now I'm going to show you some 3D balls on this one. So what you could do, you could use some white. Actually, I'm going to use maybe white or silver. I'm not sure. Probably white. So I'm just dipping in my acrylic brush and pick up a small, small ball. Like you want really small one and you want to dry it out a little bit. And then place on your design like don't get it too wet if you get it too wet it is not going to look as it should because uh, you want those kind of roughiness almost like a snow and don't worry if you're going to cover the crystals like uh, like that's absolutely fine now i'm going to pick up slightly bigger one again dry it out almost you can leave it in a wipe like And then once it stops moving, you can pick it up and place another one. Almost like a snowball. So don't make it perfectly rounded shape. You want a little bit of this roughiness to it. And another one very tiny one so I can dry out on the wipe pick it up and just place the third one now we are going to add a little bit of the snow detail into our design but you have to do it after the top coat is applied okay so here we are going to paint another leaf tree 
but this one is going to have the snowy look. And then on this ones, so they are just on the background. And here we are going to paint a bigger ones which are on top of it. They are going to be covered in the snow. But you want to have those small ones which are underneath visible as well in some places, so don't cover it completely. So really not complicated design. Here just a tiny one on the bottom. Very easy to do. Okay, and then we are going to take some sh uh, sugar effect and uh, you could use any kind of glitter. I'm going to use the snow, white snow from the indigo, but any kind of glitter is going to work for this design as well. And just sprinkle on top of our paint on French gel. We cover the entire tip, remove the excess, and it looks a bit messy at this point, but once we cook it, we can remove it, and uh, the excess of the pigment, and then the design will look nice. And now we have to do it on this one. So we've got a slightly different look on this one. And now the snowy parts. Make some bigger, make some smaller, it's like don't make them exactly the same. And to be honest, I find it like the quicker I paint it, the, the better results I get really, uh, because they are kind of more messy then. Okay, and once we have painted on this one, I'm going to take those sugar effect and sprinkle this tip. And I love those kind of designs because uh, they don't take much of the time, but they look quite nice and pretty, especially for the ladies which don't like the nails which are uh, over the top. Okay, so I'm just going to give it a cure to this nail, close my pots, and I show you the final results where we clean the glitter, uh, the excess of the glitter away. Also, if you're new in here, hit the subscribe button. You can check also my channel on those set and those set. That's a lot of different like Christmassy looks, wintery looks, uh, and not only like we also do the structure of the nails as well, and lots of different uh, useful tutorials. So I'm just going to take my uh, brush and remove the excess of the glitter. Okay, so the glitter is nicely coming off from the parts where we don't have the paint on French, and it gives us those kind of texture uh, which I really love. Uh, of wintery uh, Christmas tree so you can you can really nicely see it and um, because we have painted this first Christmas tree it looks more nice and more beautiful and then the other tip is cute as well so I'm going to show you this one so two slightly different looks depending really what you prefer and you could use as different type of the glitters as well. Uh, I think they're really nice and not over at the top. Maybe very quick and easy even for a beginner. So glittery hugs and bye for now.